It's Monday. Um, I just wanted to talk today about a little bit about uh, an idea, just on the fly. Um, art versus science. Who will win? <laughs> um, well, it's not really a matter of who will win. It's, um, I mean, people usually gravitate towards one or the other. Like, for example, I gravitate towards science. It's my thing. Art is not my thing. Um, I mean, I do have a good taste for it. <laughs> um, although, technically, I consider this art as well. Um, you know, Legos and bat pigs and all that. Um, I do appreciate art, even though I feel like I, ha I would have a hard time creating it. You know, it's a very easy for me to marvel and dive into the realm of sciences and why does this happen and what happens when this happens at the same time that this is going on is that why i, I just i just i just love th that sort of science interworkings and yeah it just it, it's just how my mind thinks but maybe that's why i appreciate art so much because i there is i mean if i try my very very best at make the picture it's going to look like something that you drew when you were four and I'm not saying that to be to burn myself down I saw the the photos that you the the, the pictures of, of what you drew when you were four and that's probably better than I could do right now um yes so <sighs> art there is something called the art assignment that exists on the YouTubes as well where different ideas of what art is is addressed and it you know they give art assignments and one of the things that's really interesting that's the most recent I think are um, art assignment I've never actually looked at their videos until like half an hour ago and there was one that said um, as an art assignment pick uh, the idea is that um, instead of people in uniforms rallying together for a single unified purpose, there is a period in time in history where people would dress up to... I'm describing this very poorly. Uh, <laughs> where people would dress up to show what they stand for. And it's really made me think, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, what do I stand for? I mean, because it's, everyone's very quick to, like, I'm against this, I'm against this. But, and, and I'm pretty sure, you know, I could have a conversation with someone about what I stand for. But in this assignment, it is to actually dress as, you know, as what you stand for. And I'm like, that's really interesting. How, you know, how would I, and now it's forcing me to, like, think creatively. Like, what could I wear? that would show what is important to me. <laughs> you know, it, like, and you can make it, it doesn't have to be, like, a, a t-shirt, but, like, coffee is important to me and wisdom. Like, no, it can actually be, like, um, it, like, something that you, that you can be assembled or that people actually, like, make, like, a costume. And, and it just really has started me thinking. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you, if you're the same way, I mean, as far as sci-fi goes. I mean, yes, you're the artist, just, but yet, zombies, uh, Doctor Who, those are definitely, definitely in the science realm. <laughs> Goodbye.